The Speaker of Parliament on Friday rejected a request for the House to commission a probe into the Airbus scandal. The House was almost plunged into chaos over the indecision of members of the majority side, breaking ranks on a request for a parliamentary inquiry into the Airbus scandal. The differences initially started between majority and minority legislators. Here's a report by Komla Kluche. The Member of Parliament for Asin South, John Intim Fojo, first requested the Speaker of Parliament, Professor Michael Kwe, initiate steps for the setting up of a committee to look into the bribery scandal. I, in the spirit of patriotism, do accordingly implore the House to explore our legitimate option fortified by Order 191 of the Standing Orders of the, Par of the Parliament of Ghana to conduct inquiry into the matter as an independent institution to establish complicity or otherwise of Ghanaian government officials, past or present, relative to this Airbus bribery scandal. But in a quick rebuttal, the Member of Parliament for Yape Kuzo, John Jinapo, challenged Reverend Intim Forjo's request. Mr. Speaker, I want to put it on record that that is false and it is not true that in the judgment, some oh, Ghanaian I'm, I'm officials members. were indicted Mr. Speaker, the, the who were those Ghanaian the, officials who were indicted? The this government has just procured over 275 ambulances. And he quotes the website. I have checked on the website, Mr. Speaker. The shell price of an ambulance is $70,000. The Speaker, Mr. Speaker, a Mercedes Benz shell price of an ambulance is $70,000, Mr. Speaker. I listened to the Minister for Special Development Initiative. An ambulance that cost 70000 she procured it at a cost of $133,000. Mr. Speaker, when you check the difference and you multiply that by the 275, it means that more than $17 million of the taxpayer cannot be accounted for by your standard. Mr. Speaker, by his standard. I wish to remind the House that we will also follow this president. The PDS scandal will ask for investigation. Yes. The on Australia on visa scandal will ask for investigation. Ameri will ask for investigation. The 500 missing excavators will ask for investigation. The 400 tricycles will ask for investigation. The 6,000 missing contaminated fuel will ask for investigation. But the debate, however, took a rather sharp turn when some majority MPs openly disagreed with their colleague MPs over the request. Even though Parliament is not forbidden to go into any such matter, I would want to plead that the House allows the Office of the Special Prosecutor. But I'm pleading that we stay in the action. Mr. Speaker, if there are those who have other views that these matters ought not to be entertained by this House, there are those who have other views that, for example, for a House that gave the resolution and the approval to empower the states to go into this transaction, this House must have the opportunity to examine the matters that are being discussed even in the public domain. There are those who hold the view that there's absolutely nothing with this House having an opportunity to inquire into what it has previously authorized to be done by the state. The fact on their own might not be conclusive. It is an inquiry that will tell us what is in there, yeah, yeah. Mr. Speaker. And what surprises me is that we all claim we love this country. How can you put your political party ahead of the state? What makes you think that the fact that you are decent and of integrity, your other colleagues are also men of integrity? Mr. Speaker, I am aware that once we are dealing with human beings, they can be prone to corruption. That is why you must be careful not to speak as if your colleagues are angels. It, it will not look well on us if we do a parallel investigation. Mr. Speaker, we don't have the expertise. Why don't we allow the uh, special prosecutor to do the investigation, take the information from there, and proceed if we so please? But to sit in this house and speak to the public and start talking about it is about Ghana government. It's not about official work. It's an international issue. So, Speaker, the issue in the the issue does not talk about value for money. That's a different matter. What is being alleged is potential bribe. If we take it up here, there will be no issue. It will be partisan. The facts will be lost and the truth will not be found. 
considering the circumstances of this matter in its totality and the technical prerequisites for examining it in full and mindful of the referral already to the Special Prosecutor's Office and not forgetting that at any stage, at any time, this House can, by any of its appropriate procedures, go further into the matter. We will hold our horses by what I will rule now, and we shall revisit it in due season.